if you are working with Revit, you probably faced this situation. So let's say that we have project A linked into the project B and then project B linked into the project C. But in project C, we cannot see the Revit link we nested into the project B. Or we can see it. And if you're not sure what's the difference and how you can control this, you're at the right place because in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can control this particular thing. I would like to remind you that we have a free Revit community and training. You can find the link in the video description. So one more time, it's totally free to join us. Just click on that link and register and you will be in. As you can see, I have three Revit windows open. So first one is with the project A, the second one is with the project B and the third one is with the project C. So what I have done, I linked project A into the project B, then I linked project B into the project C. So project A contains only this diagonal wall, while project B contains that link, you see this diagonal wall and then those four walls, while project C contains only link B. But as you can see, in a project C, we cannot see the project A. Actually, the project A is linked into the project B, so we cannot see that nested link here. So what's the reason? To figure out that, I have to go to the project B, and then here, I need to select my link A. So I can either go here to the edit type, and you will see here the reference type overlay, and I can replace it here to overlay from overlay to attachment or you can go to the insert tab and then manage links and if you have more Revit links it's easier to control it this way so what you need to do is just to go here to the reference type and then here instead of overlay you need to pick attachment then it's very important to save the file so control s and now i will go to project c I will go to the manage links and I'm going to select this link and I will simply go here to reload. Let's close this pop-up window. And as you can see right now, we have visible project A, which is nested into the project B. So both of them are visible into the project C. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. And if you would like to know more about Revit and if you would like to master shared parameters in Revit, just watch this tutorial.